All right, the first thing I gotta do here is tip my cap to that crowd in Toronto tonight. They were taking it on the chin all week about how they weren't loud enough and they weren't showing enough support for the team in the arena. Well, tonight, they showed up. They were absolutely electric for that team all night. You could feel it through the TV screen, the electricity. It was just, it was awesome. Great job, Leaf Nation. And honestly, I really do feel like it energized the players. It helped them out. And man, did they battle hard. If you're a Leaf fan, you've gotta be super proud of how they played tonight and in game five as well. I honestly feel like I couldn't escape hearing the fact that the Leafs have lost six straight playoff games at home. It was like everywhere. You couple that with the season being on the line, like the pressure was even more than it usually is in Toronto. This game belonged to two guys though. Joseph Wall and William Nylander. I'm honestly so remarkably impressed with Joseph Wall, it's not even funny. I mean, they throw him in game five, this kid, and they're like, hey bud, I mean, this is the biggest pressure cooker market in the entire league, but can you save the world for us here, please? Oh, and it's against our biggest playoff demon of the past decade. Go get him, kid. And he just went out, cool, calm, collected, and did it. He was incredible again tonight, and it's clear that without him, the Leafs don't win this game. I just wish he could have gotten the playoff shutout. I mean, 0.1 second, are you kidding me? That sucks. I mean, that official playoff shutout would have been pretty awesome to send it to seven. But hey, all that matters if you're a Leaf or a Leaf fan is that they won and the Joseph Wall played great, which he did. Personally, the only thing I wish is that they would have put him in earlier. The kid can clearly handle the big moment. He's like built for it. I mean, that's why he got compared to Carey Price in that respect. And look, I know everybody's gonna say, oh, the script, the script. Hey, the script says Boston Toronto has to go to game seven. It's just how it works. But in all seriousness, of course, this is how it happens. Of course, this is how it's gonna end. And of course, it's in Boston too. It's just like, it's so meant to be. It feels like that's all you can really say. Of course. And speaking of cool, calm, collected, how about William Nylander? I mean, this gave me shades of 2021 playoffs against Montreal, where every member of the core four was basically invisible, and Nylander stepped up and was like, no, I'm not going to be invisible. I'm going to step up here. I know this time it's different because Matthews is injured, but still, I mean, the way Nylander stepped up here, there better not still be anybody saying he's not a playoff performer. He's proven in 2021, even last year and now, of course, he's someone you can lean on in these types of situations, and that's something the Leafs desperately need. Even if Toronto ends up losing in Game 7, I'm just so excited that we were able to get here in the first place. Especially with all the series that ended in five and with a whimper, it's awesome to have one go the distance like this. It's been a ton of fun and for it to end on a Saturday night, Hockey Night in Canada, in Boston, game seven, even with all the previous playoff demons in Boston haunting them, you couldn't ask for better. Give me your thoughts in the comments. Who wins this one? Let me know. I'll see you in the next one. You're awesome.